Okay, so today on Under the Big Tree, we're going to be taking a look at the dual processor Serge module. Now this version is the CatGirl Synth 381 model, and it is found here inside of my LB Designs Marsh panel. However, it's a standard Serge module that is used all over the place and has been around since the original Paperface designs. So what is the dual processor? Well, it's pretty simple. It's a device that has three inputs, three gain knobs that we'll get into in just a moment, one master knob, and one output. And there are two of these, which is why it's called a dual processor. This is the top one, this is the bottom one. They don't interact, but they both do exactly the same thing. So why is it called a dual processor instead of a dual mixer? After all, it's got three inputs, volume controls, and an output, right? Well, it's true, but there are a couple of reasons why. The first reason is that it is really optimized for CV signals rather than audio signals. And the second reason is because these knobs here are actually attenuverters rather than gain knobs, which means that they attenuate the signal, so it'll add gain moving in that direction anywhere past 12 o'clock. But as soon as you get to 12 o'clock and start moving the other direction, then what it's doing is it is adding gain to the inverted version of that signal. So it is changing the polarity of the signal. And we will see exactly what that does in just a moment. But you can hear attenuverters all over Eurorack, all over Serge systems, etc. Okay, so let's start by seeing how it works as an audio mixer, okay? So I have a single signal here, which is just an oscillator here on the Serge being driven by the eight stage sequencer. And it is a uh, pattern made by an absolute electronic music legend. Let's see if you recognize it. So we can change it, make it quieter. And we can certainly add another signal. In this case, I'm going to add a drone. And we can bring that up. There we go. Ah, analog oscillators. So we can use it as an audio mixer along these lines if we want. But here's something that's really interesting. So I'll pull out the drone, and I'm going to take another copy of the same signal, of the same sequenced uh, melody from Cars, and I'm going to put it in, so this is just a copy of the same signal. So as I turn it up here, it's getting louder. And the reason is because these two signals are summing together. But this is the point that I want to make about the attenuator, okay? So as I turn it the other way, it's quieter around 12 o'clock, but as I go farther, it disappears. And the reason it disappears is because the phase is inverted, and so these two signals are canceling each other out. So if, for example, you had some way to be able to modulate these, you could make yourself a pretty cool phase shifter with it. Okay, so now let's talk about what the dual processor is really good at, which is adding or subtracting control voltages together uh, to create something different or unexpected. So um, I'm using pitch here uh, because it's the easiest way to demonstrate what this does, but of course you can use uh, these CVs to modulate any parameter uh, that you can think of. So let's bring in our uh, little Gary Newman riff here. All right. Tuning isn't great, but you know, we do the best we can with uh, modular synths. So in any case, all we have right now is the control voltage from the sequencer going into the in, and then the out is going out to the pitch input of the oscillator. So there's nothing coming into these either two yet. Um, this up here is the master offset. So this controls, this adds an offset or subtracts an offset from the control voltage of everything that's coming in here. So we can transpose things up or down very easily by changing this knob. There we go, little mice singing here in my car. All right, let's go back down to, and of course we can go the other way. 
and in this case we're subtracting this voltage from the control voltage to the point where it gets so low that you can't even hear it. Okay, so now let's add another signal to modulate the sequence itself, and you'll hear that things start getting pretty wild pretty fast. So I'm going to plug in an LFO uh, with a sawtooth wave, and we can start modulating the modulation. So as we add to it, it makes the excursions larger and larger. Let's see what happens if we get that really high. And interestingly, that's still almost recognizable as the riff because of the rhythm, but uh, it's just a completely different thing. So now let's add another LFO on top of that LFO and see what we can do. So now this is a variable signal LFO coming in. In fact, I'll take out this one. And when we add all of them together, So the dual processor, as you can see, is a very simple device that allows you to be able to add or subtract control voltages from each other and use them to be able to modulate any parameter on the modular that you can think of. Um, so that's it for this module. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for listening.